Sobel and Caitlin Downey here at Urban Steak, Washington, D.C. And we are going to be putting together Chef Michael Mina's signature ahi tuna tartare. Some key points with this dish are that, one, uh, we use beautiful, fresh uh, ahi tuna that's diced perfectly and kept cold on ice. Uh, another really important key point is that uh, this is a lesson in textures. We've got all different types of textures. We've got crunchy pine nuts, we've got sweet Asian pear, we've got hot chilies, we've got pungent garlic, we've got herbaceous mint. These are, um, this dish really describes Chef Nina's philosophy and the way he approaches food. Uh, so, Caitlin is going to go ahead and start plating up. Basically, the best way to start the dish is to set the plate up first because it is mixed table side. So, we're going to start with the ancho powder. Try to make a nice solid line across the plate. And then I like to go in with the chilies. Which are finely brunoise. We like to use um, two to three different types of chilies. Jalapeno, uh, serrano, and sometimes habanero. And add our crunchy pine nuts. Asian pear. Asian it's very important with the Asian pear that they're not cut too small, otherwise you don't get that crunch and the texture that we're trying to achieve. And then we like to take the mint and kind of go across diagonal. And then I start by mixing my tuna. So I start with the tuna in the bowl. Add the salt. Poncho powder. And our habanero oil. take into consideration when mixing the tuna you don't want to add too much of the sesame habanero oil because we are going to put a little bit more back onto the plate for garnish. So we press it into our mold and make sure it's really tight in there so that it looks nice on the plate. And we make a little bit of a well for our egg yolk. Scoop it over. Drop the yolk in. Yolks can be kind of tricky because you have to make sure you remove all of the white. I found that one of the best ways to do so is to use an offset spatula with my hand. To finish it, we add a little bit of malden salt, but try not to get it on the yolk because it will cook and you'll see that on there. And then a little bit of habanero oil and it's ready for the table. So here we have the ahi tuna tartare. Um, we've got lots of different flavors and textures. Flavors are sweetness from the Asian pear, pungency from the garlic, toasty richness from the pine nut, spice from the, uh, the chilies and the ancho, and then we've got herbaceousness from the mint. So now at this point, uh, this is gonna go to the, um, the front of the house and get finished table side by one of our servers.